Hello guys and welcome back to Igniting Illumination. In today's video I'll be drawing Lelouch Lamperouge V Britannia from Cogus. So you want to start by drawing his face. This is going to be in a three quarters uh, view of his face from the side, looking from above. So his, he has a very pointy chin and uh, drawing his face, uh, the jawline to the right is going to be at a steep angle up to the right and a bit of a lesser uh, less steep angle to the left then it goes up and connects to the ear the ear is pretty simplistic only one line and some shadowing in it sticks out a bit kind of like a very uh, kind of like half of a rectangle without one of the sides um, for the eyes his top of the, the top of the eye is pretty flat and at the sides it curves uh, downwards, kind of like a triangle, and then the bottom of the eye is a semi-oval. Um, the right eye is going to start at the top right and go to the bottom left, just because of the perspective. Also, his body is going to curve inwards, because we're looking from above. So, his pupils are ovals, or half an oval, and the iris would be then the semicircle or semi oval on the right side after that you want to make sure and draw in his hair oh his eyebrows are pretty thin and to take for his hair he has a lot of hair that covers his face so you want really want to make sure and do that especially a big strand that comes down a bit below his eyes in the middle make sure you get that a lot of hair a little on the right side under his face coming below his face and the top of the head you want to just draw like that no stray hairs at the top just pretty flat as we can see it and then he has a lot of strands of hair that are pretty thin and detailed so make sure you get a lot of uh, strands of hair in flowing in uh, both directions if it's on the left side it's gonna flow a bit more to the left on the right more to the right so you want to keep that in mind about his eyes he has some kind of marks for uh, the eyelid or whatever it is so you want to make sure and add in those few lines extend some lines above on the hair his nose curves out to the right and inwards to the left and his mouth begins right beneath his where the nose ends and curves to the bottom left after that I just add in some details some lines for the uniform he's wearing and <clears throat> so you want to add in some lines and <clears throat> folds in the shirt add in some highlights in the hair remember to do that so what really characterizes Lelouch Lamperouge with Britannia from Gout guess is his eyes, the oval pupil, his hair, the amount of strands of hair he has, his pointy chin and his nose. These all make Lelouch Lelouch. <laughs> so you want to make sure you sh shade in his ear. Um, the further in it goes the darker shade of black you want and the uh, more gray as you get outwards and leave uh, the outline white uh, and i'm just shading in the hair here making sure i get everything making everything a bit darker so you guys can see what's going on <clears throat> all right so make sure you really follow all the details and what you really need to get is his chin nose eyes and hair and you'll be good so when you color in like a black uniform and want to indicate folds just like leave a bit uh, of space where you drew the initial fold and make that in a black color color it in and like leave a little extra white space and the white space will indicate the false is what i'm trying to say so i hope you guys learned something this has been igniting illumination drawing lelouch lamp rouge with britannia from code guess 
thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one